Hi everyone, Haley Greco here. Today I'll be showing you the process for this oil wave painting. Let's get started. The heart of man is very much like the sea. It has its storms, it has its tides, and in its depths it has its perils too. That's a quote by Vincent van Gogh. I begin painting here with a calm mind and a clear heart. I've started out with a light blue for the sky, and I'm just continuing down with the horizon line for the sea. I'm using a teal color consisting of Bethalo blue, yellow, and white. If you'd like to follow along with me, I'll put all the colors I'm using in the description. And if you're new to my channel, welcome. I appreciate all the likes, comments, and don't forget to subscribe. The sea is one of my favorite subjects to paint. It's such a boundless subject as it's always moving and it's always speaking something new to me as I watch it. I'm just making sure the horizon is nice and straight. I'm also adding a lighter color in here for the background. These highlights will define how the waves are acting far away and I'll add in some shadows as well. With water, I always make sure everything is nice and blended. You can use your fingers to do this, or just a brush. But if you are using your fingers, make sure it's non-toxic paint you're using, like I am. With this motion of painting the sea, it's really just water sliding over itself. Each line is blended into the next. And when you're painting water, don't overthink it too much, just let it happen. For this part, I really go with my feeling, just my intuition. I'm now beginning to add the wave. I'm starting with this light green color. And this will be the lightest part of the wave that's kind of just catching the light. And I'm going to blend it down into this blue shadow. As you can see, I've kind of got a smooth shape for the wave going already. And I'm just going to kind of play with these colors until it looks right. Just lots of blending here. I'm thinking this wave is going to be crashing towards you. now adding the part that's going to be curving down. I love painting the parts of the foam that are splashing down. 
It's fun catching the movement of the sea on a canvas. I'm just making sure these shadows make sense with where the wave is. Another ocean quote that I like is, sometimes in the waves of change we find our true direction. And I've found this to be so true for me. If you'd like to hear more of this instrument I have playing, it's called the African Kora, and it's one of my favorite instruments to listen to as I paint. begun to add a lot of sea foam now. I love painting sea foam as it's so wild and random, so it could really take any shape you want. I'm having it curve up the wave here, and then it'll lie more flat at the bottom of the painting.
getting a lot of spray going here as the wave is crashing. And the more sea foam you add here, the more it'll look like that wave is really moving. Begin to fill in some of the shadows down at the bottom now. And a lot of the sea foam at the bottom will be blue as it's in shadow, and some of it will be white as it's catching the light. I'm enhancing that spray now at the top of the wave. I love adding these fine little details as I feel that they are what bring the painting to life. And our wave painting is just about finished. I want to thank you guys so much for coming on this journey with me. It's always an adventure finding something new we can create together. And I hope you join me again soon.